Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again, Taurus. Alrighty guys, this is a very, very special reading. We're looking at money and we're looking at money all the way through 2022. Okay, okay. So we're doing a few spreads here and we're actually going to go um, in the last one month by month. Let me first say, our first one is a four card spread. It aims to highlight your strength. Okay, a key strength that you have what could it be and at the same time how best to use it and where it may take you in terms of an opportunity and at the same time last but not least here what else to develop around it okay and then we're going to look at the what to let go of what to embrace more of and a best path forward then we're going to pull the 12 cards looking at 12 months ahead okay okay so um let's see here about that amazing strength for you taurus okay ambition drive okay ambition drive determination um, the ability to follow instruction the willingness to learn the humility to ask for help there is so much going on here i see motivation as a highlight i see you know what this high level energy as a highlight let me just switch glasses taurus and see what's up with here <laughs> okay so i love this energy um we're looking at initiation we're looking at ready uh with stamina with oomph to take on life if you will but we're looking at ways to make more money obviously so i love it i love it now what's the best way to use this kind of energy what is the best way to use a page of wands energy i sometimes ask myself if i can go back 20 years if i can go back in time 20 years um well, what was I then? Okay, 29. I want to, yeah, okay. If I can go back to 29 and the opportunities I had then and the energy that I had then and I can put that now into application, do you know what I mean? It's not about the age. It's about, you know what, how open your mind is to actually working on achieving more money. It's the lack of conditioning, if you will, in a particular lack mindset. So, sorry, I dwelled a little bit on that, but how best do we use this amazing positive energy? Okay, well, we go out in the sun and we definitely enjoy our days. Okay, why is he so bright? And I'm not joking when I say we go out in the sun. I am saying we go out, we mingle, we socialize, we connect with others. Do you see the impact of a happy person when you do a transaction, even as a cashier? When you get that happy smile from someone and someone just throws you a joke, how does that turn the day around? So Taurus, do more of that. Use that amazing ability. Use that smile. Use that charisma. Okay. Socialize more. Network more. Let's now put it into more business context. Network more. Showcase your skill sets more. Obviously, not too much bragging, but <laughs> do brag where you need to. You know what you do? You brag to those who are able to actually appreciate and promote. But I love the positivity here. I love the outlook on let's be, you know what, out more. Let's connect with others even more and more. This type of exercise here, mingling more, offers you new opportunities and takes you into even more and more happiness. It's as if it's your goal. You're going to meet your goal by networking more, connecting with others more. I see this wand here, and it's as if this is the wand that this page is having here. And as a way of positively projecting on you, Taurus, let's just put that citrine thingy here and say, this is all money. This is all money flowing to Taurus, okay? So we can enjoy those sunny afternoons, okay? I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, what to develop further? What to develop further? And we have the 10 of coins, as if to say, tighten the plan, okay? You have an idea, develop that plan further, but use it as a means to also get you out, to connect more, introduce it more, take it out to the market, to the sun. Alrighty, Taurus, there's something that you're working on that provides quite a bit of an opportunity here to make us so happy, okay? This is one of my, obviously, I'm reading with the, uh, what's it called, the ancient Italian guys, but if I were to pull you the um, Ace of Wands from the Marseille, what a beautiful piece of potential. And on the other deck, 
you see the you know what the fruits you see you can almost see oh my god this is going to be so much fun i can already see the fruits of my labor i can visualize it i love it what do i have to do tighten the money plan tighten the money plan one more time okay now let's look at um something to let go of and something to embrace more of and some you know what better path forward so what to let go of is going to be loose priorities okay we need to be firm on our priorities we were just looking at here the plan and saying let's tighten the heck out of this plan this money idea okay let's work with it let's develop it as as a seed and then let's nourish it further and then let's go out and sell it let's keep networking okay this idea could be your new skills this could be you getting an additional certification for whatever industry you work in if you needed one you know you could be a crane operator you could be learning a new model of something blah blah blue but you know what i mean guys so no loose priorities okay no um weakening no softening also on priorities because we don't feel right okay so we're putting the energy of the page of wands and the commitment to get to the ten of coins what to embrace more of going out guys going out networking your message has a lot to do with networking and the best path forward as you guys can see here this is in a way a social being too the night the the page of cups so i love the fact that what to embrace more is also your own ambition i mean we're looking here at the fool we're looking at an investor of sort not that they are a fool but they're investing in something they believe in and they keep getting called being called the fool the fool the fool until they are the, the, the genius oh did you hear taurus did this well this is the energy and this fool's energy here also does not wobble on their priorities okay i mean boy they set a priority and they're you know what it's there they're acting on it you're being asked to socialize more network more sell yourself more okay as in merchandise your skill sets more best path forward involves you being intuitive but at the same time also being sociable you know what sociable that could be a cup of tea a cup of coffee or something speaking of tea and here we are Mm -hmm. all righty taurus now let's look at you know what a glance at each one of the months coming ahead into 2022 and see what supportive energies you know what are around and what are they calling for so we're going to go one by one let's see what each one of those is suggesting remembering that i do have a little bit of a theme here for you more and more networking okay more and more public appearances if you will connecting with others alrighty and of course tightening that plan okay in terms of anything material around it if it means if more and more being out means that you have to have a set of outfits tighten the plan around that so you can get to that do you know what I mean this could be that simple if it is about presentation you know what let's do that but let's have a solid fix on costs as well because you are initiating a money machine january what do we have here we have the taurus who's now out okay we talked about <laughs> out socializing we talked about uh the page being the best path forward more and more networking and socializing and we have you here taking that action softly okay this isn't partying this is networking and socializing okay and also this is not just that this is a january that invites you to have more and more conversations so before i forget to say that's the energy for january more and more conversations more and more fluid conversations that allow you to gain to gain intelligence on opportunities more understandings february you're going to merge what you've gained you're going to merge you know what some of the learning that you have now along with the plan and you're going to come up with an approach again that finds solutions we're just beginning now to find a you know what meet point between demand what people want from you or what you can you know what offer to others and what you can really produce let's see what happens in march in march we get a sense of reward so here's the judgment in march we get the feeling oh oh those seeds they're actually there's something green guess what judgment you get early sense of 
I see now the green. I see now the light at the end of the tunnel. It's always been bright, really, for you because you always had this. But I could see that the reward is coming. I have validated, okay, things around my ideas. I have validated things around my effort, and I know now we have initiated a money-making machine. This process delivers. April, April, we make changes now because we are anticipating growth, okay? So the five of coins, not about lack. We were just saying we're looking to start this money machine. The money machine works and then you realize, tightening the plan here, ah, I have cost issues I can fix. Ah, I have buying issues I can fix. I can buy cheaper, I can buy better this way. I can reduce my cost this way. So you make those amazing changes. You know what, typically, I will say, comes after that, the amazing priorities being set. And uh, you know what, overcoming of some obstacles too. So it's an interesting phase to be in. But we have the skill set here because we did the plan. Right, Taurus? And here comes May, and here's an Ace of Cups. New initiation, it's as if you go from second gear to third gear to fourth gear now, and now we're in fifth gear, and now we have way more vision, way more fluidity, way more resources and material to work with to gain more money. That cup was in their hand, in a way. Maybe a different cup, but that's the effort being rewarded, okay? You continue to get that sense. Around June, we have a better fix on finances. We have a much better fix, and I think you should be this way, much better fix on our plan. We are making assessments at the end of Q2 now. Here at the end of Q1, we got some validation that things are working. Here we're looking at making it sharper, okay? I'm gonna put this money machine or this idea that brings me money, okay? I'm gonna call them money machines into even sharper scrutiny so I can make the most out of it, okay? make the most out of it and at the same time no waste develop more grow more july 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 we commit to a path huh towards the improvements that we have now learned that we now are going that we know now are going to take us towards a bank a bigger bank account and we commit to that and it's summertime okay and so yes you're going to do fun things but you're going to stay your course <laughs> August here and we have the element of stability now we not only now we know we have the reward we have a machine that works we're fine-tuning but we get to feel a little bit of comfort it's not as if there was no comfort here it's not as if there was no comfort here or here but I'm just speaking in money terms it could be you know that this happens right then but I'm just following that flow guys so don't let it be like this situation only takes place in August. Heck no. This could be week number four in January. Okay. So let's just take that with a grain of salt. But I am projecting, okay, that come th this point in time that you're going to be ready to invest. How is that? September. And you're going to invest sharply. I'm keeping my story. You're going to invest so sharply. Again, you're good with numbers now. You've learned, you've trained yourself to understand this market, this industry, that space even better. And now you're looking for getting to this 10. October comes and we get to the 10 and we get to the 10 of happiness. So big, big, big celebrations come October, come you month of status. Okay. In a way, um, I love this 10 of cups so much. Put me into November. And because of this much success, we're now thinking of a makeover. <laughs> we're thinking of reinventing something now that we know how it works so well. We now have the ability to actually not only improve on it, but almost build it bigger. Expansion, transformation, okay? The way we invest, the way the bank account used to look, transforms. I love it, I love it, I love it. Rebirth before 2023. Did I even say that? We're in November 2022 now. Alrighty, December 2022, the Empress, the beautiful creation energy. You know what? A bit of a nice um, ending to the reading, a bit of a lovely, lovely closure to the year, a bit of a comforting sign that, you know what? The efforts get rewarded. Yet, what do we need to do, Taurus? Be out there marketing more, selling more of your ideas and of your skill sets. And I so much enjoyed and loved your reading. This is a year ahead. You know what? Look, guys, I'm still going to do our 
good old quarterly, uh, quarterly, weekly career and money readings. But this one is special. We are approaching a new moon as well. The timing is hot. This is the time to make the assessments. This is the time to plant the seeds for all this money coming your way with the Empress here as a conclusion to our reading Taurus. Guys, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you thought. Drop me a line. You guys should know we do love you madly. And bye for now.